Welcome to the MTI Player Tutorials. In this tutorial, we will go over how to get the most out of the MTI Player iOS application. There are three areas of the app, Shows, App Settings, and Account Settings. If you are logged in with a rehearsal code, this last option will not be visible. Tapping on Shows will bring you to a list of all shows the device has access to. Here you can see the expiration date and whether or not the tracks are rehearsal tracks or production tracks. Rehearsal tracks will have a parentheses RT in front of the show's title and the individual song titles. If there is no parentheses RT, you are accessing production tracks. Tapping on the show title will show the track's playlist with each track listed. The track titles will have cue numbers that correspond with the cue sheet provided on the organization's dashboard. Some songs may be combined due to segues noted in the score. Some cues may be split into individual tracks, making space for dialogue and caesuras, or railroad tracks, noted in the score. Underneath each cue title is the track length, and the size of the audio file. Before downloading the tracks, ensure you have a strong Wi-Fi connection. A weak Wi-Fi connection may lead to problems in the download process. Tap the Test Download Speed button at the top of the screen. Once Test Download Speed has been selected, the system will perform a quick connection test. If there is a weak Wi-Fi signal, you will receive this notification. If there is a fast connection, you will receive this notification. There are two ways to download the tracks, individually or as a group. To download individual tracks, simply tap them one at a time. To download all of the tracks, click Download All up near the top of the screen. If the app is closed while a track is downloading, the download process will be interrupted. If you would like to resume downloading remaining tracks, press Download All again. This time, you will be asked if you would like to re-download the whole show or to only download the missing tracks. Once a track has successfully downloaded, a play symbol will replace the download symbol on the right side of each track title. Select a song by tapping it in the list. This will open to the playback page. The show's title is at the top, followed by the song title. Beneath the song title are three buttons, one for selecting the previous track, one for pressing play or pause, and one for selecting the next track. Beneath these buttons are three sets of numbers. The top left number will note the elapsed time of the track. The bottom left number will note the track's total time length, and the bottom right number will note the time remaining. Beneath these time markers is a notes section where notes can be made for future reference. The bottom of the screen has three buttons, Repeat, Continue, and Fade. If Repeat is selected, the track will play again on a loop until the Repeat button is selected again. If Continue is selected, the next track will begin as soon as the current track has finished playing. If Fade is pressed while a track is playing, the current track playing will begin to fade out. The next track will immediately queue up and be available to play. This feature is useful when the next queue needs to be played as soon as possible. Now that we have explored the Shows area, Tap the back arrow in the top left corner until you return to the main menu. The next area we will explore is the app settings. Here the fade length time can be adjusted. Tap the box and enter the time desired. Please note that the fade length entered here will affect all tracks in the playlist. Once the desired time has been entered, tap Save Settings. If the settings are not saved, the adjusted fade length will erase and default back to 3 seconds. App settings can also be accessed through the playback page by tapping this icon in the bottom right of the screen. Let's return to the main menu. The last area we will explore is account settings. This option will only appear if you are logged in with a personal account. 
If you are logged in with a rehearsal code, this option will not be available in the main menu. Tapping on Account Settings will open the My Info section. This will display this user's credentials and the option to change your personal password. Tapping My Devices will list all of the devices connected to this personal username. If there are any devices listed that need to be removed from the list, such as devices that are no longer functional or are no longer in use, remove them by swiping them to the left and pressing Delete. Tapping My Codes will list all active rehearsal codes connected to your personal username. If there are rehearsal codes that need to be removed from the list, remove them by swiping them to the left and pressing Delete. Once a show expires, the access code will automatically remove itself from this list. This concludes the tour of the iOS application. If you have any further questions, feel free to visit our FAQ page at player.mtishows.com slash FAQ or reference our tutorial series. Thank you for watching and have a great show.